guys went to school here. Our parents wanted to go here. We watch football, we watch basketball, so we're true fans, tried and true. The, the fans have been great all year long. Very, very much appreciated by the players. Uh, the energy they get from that, especially late game situations, carried us through. I really like them, and they're just really good at playing. Starting next week, aid will be provided by the U.S. Small Business Administration to Caddo, Comanche, Cotton, Grady, Kiowa, Stevens, and Tillman counties. Oklahoma requested the SBA declaration on Thursday after the Federal Emergency Management Agency denied the governor's request for individual assistance. Right now I am standing on what was the foundation of a trailer you can see flipped over on its side several feet back. So residents here are not surprised that the tornado was upgraded today to an EF4 with debris still scattered along County Road 1680. It's now day three of cleanup efforts along County Road 1680. In the blazing afternoon sun, crews were out restoring power and those who called this land home still salvaging all they can. Garvin County Sheriff Larry Rhodes reflecting on the devastation. Thinking back in my 28 years in law enforcement, I hadn't seen a storm in person that close with that with that much destructive force. Kevin Mendoza remembers when the parking lot outside his business looked like this just a few weeks ago. I've never seen anything like it. It was pretty scary. Um, we just I drove in and the water was as high as the curb right there. I'd say it covered about maybe a third of your tire. So you had to drive in real slow. You couldn't really see the, the driveways coming in. Luckily, the family video was not a victim of the flood waters, unlike the Seth Wadley dealership just up the road, who tell Fox 25 238 of their new cars were destroyed by the flood. Sheriff's deputies were out checking on residents Wednesday and trying to coordinate those who are looking to make donations with those who need them. Reporting in Garvin County, Jennifer Falsetti, Fox 25 News. For lease and close for business signs and signs encouraging you to stick around and maybe spend a little cash. Wendy and Mike, in the early morning hours on Sunday, the store owner says two men worked for 45 minutes to steal a kayak like this one that was secured to the side of the store. Now, fast forward to Tuesday, a different man came here to the front door, kicked it twice, was able to get in and steal some cash. Officers and deputies were all over Bricktown tonight, not only on the ground, but positioning themselves on top of the Harkins Theater and even in the sky. But those who attended this evening didn't seem concerned. We trust the Oklahoma City Police. We trust the organizers of this event. That doesn't mean that someone won't be crazy like they were in Dallas, but this movement is not one about violence. Kelly Bustle says since last week, it's been tough to watch the news, especially as the wife of a law enforcement officer. I've never been a worrier. This last weekend is, uh, it was a little bit different. I, I found myself stressed and even kind of sick to my stomach. Bustle says she's been shaken up ever since five Dallas officers were gunned down on the job. But one thing has given her some peace of mind. With the tensions, there's not a whole lot that we can do except to have faith. Smooth, slow it down, good. good. Preparing Hold. for the worst. So we need to be prepared no matter where the threat arises. Staying hyper aware, calm in calamity and most importantly, protecting everyone on the scene. This is the threat mitigation side of things. So we are trying to prepare law enforcement officers to go into a situation, whether it's outdoor, indoor, and isolate, distract, and neutralize a active threat. This was the scene at Norman City Hall. Dozens of Native Americans and opponents of a new pipeline outraged. You can't drink oil! This comes just moments after the Norman Board of Adjustment fails to allow a vote, appealing a decision by the city issuing a permit for the Plains All-American Pipeline, a decision this group says is unlawful. 
Two members of the board voting yes to proceed, two saying no. But one of the five members of the Board of Adjustments did not show. Pipeline opponents were outraged. But everything you're seeing here tonight would not have happened if that one person had showed up to do their job tonight. Because one person failed to show up and do their job tonight, it's come to this. I heard a woman screaming. Um, my husband rushed to the front of the house. Um, he went outside. I looked out our bedroom window. And that's when Jessica Lancaster saw her neighbor, a young woman in her front yard, screaming and frantic. She says police were there within minutes. Broken August 2015, and 13 months later, this is the new Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium, a state of the art facility built on the fan experience. All of these amenities are modern, they are plentiful, they're meant to serve the fan. With more seating, new clubhouses, and the second largest scoreboard monitor in all of college football. There's nearly 13 million LED bulbs in this scoreboard, and all of those are the state-of-the-art viewing, create the state-of-the-art viewing for our fans. Fox 25 went behind the scenes touring the brand new facilities just 48 hours before the Sooners' first home game. And as you can see, construction cranes, seats and tables that have yet to be set up, and plenty of hard hats. The reality is, they just, they was being tougher than us. They were tougher, they was aggressive than us, you know. They were quicker to lose basketballs. They came in from different angles to rebound. I think you give them more credit, and we'll have to do a much, much better job in game three. We just try to get better next game. Russ, what's the most important thing you guys want to get done tomorrow? I mean, uh, win. That's it. Football locker rooms, strength and conditioning, sports medicine, equipment room, and meeting rooms are continuing to be completed. And if you're planning to come to the game, come early and prepare for road closures. Lindsay Street, which runs east and west on the southern edge of the stadium, will close at Elm. Jenkins Ave and Brooks all close to traffic. The good news is, as the season gets underway, this mess will only get better. So by the time our season is over this year, more of this stadium will be complete. And of course, the first Sooner home game here of the season is right here at 6 o'clock against University of Louisiana Monroe. If you have never heard of noodling before, get ready as Fox 25's photographer Kyle Holtling found out it was definitely the perfect day for it. Today is the 17th annual Okie Noodling Tournament. It's a nice event. Awesome out here. <laughs> well, noodling is just about, about getting out and, and having a good time and, and learning what it, it really takes to, to catch it with your own hands. It's not, it's not for everybody. Noodling is catching fish with only your bare hands. It's fishing by hand. You go up under there and you fill up in the holes. Reach underneath there and if you fill in, you either get them by the mouth, go up in there and just pull them right out if you can. <laughs> they don't pull you under first. I've always been fascinated with it. A little, you know, hillbilly hand fishing, watch that for a while. And it's, that's what's called. This year we have 103 registered noodlers. The biggest fish will get a check for $2,000 today. I just took a big dip in the pool there, reached down into the hole, pulled out a big old 40-pound catfish. So that's something you think you're going to do again? Oh, yeah. Find my way down on the river, reach in some holes, see what I pull out. The biggest fish you ever caught? 78. 78, yeah. How long was it? Uh, about a little taller than I was. How tall are you? 5'8". Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one, yeah. We've always kind of wanted to do this and come to the noodling competition first year. Are we coming back? Yeah. 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 I know, but they have a great deal here at Paul Valley, and, and I think it's awesome for everybody to get together like this and, and have a good time.